Hello, my name is Johan Falk. I work at Node One Scandinavia. This is episode three of the Organic Group Screencast series we're working with. Uh, it's a part of the Drupal Learning Library found at Node One.se. Learn Learn hyphen Drupal. Uh, the library contains uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, screencasts and and exercises and learning material if you want to learn. Drupal site building and also quite a bit of other stuff. Uh, there's a Drupal book that you can check out at Amazon uh, containing good stuff uh, for anyone in close contact with Drupal. So, uh, organic groups. In this screencast we're going to look at uh, how you can use organic group properties and settings for other things than uh, uh, content types. Content types is kind of the standard way of doing it, but it's uh, not at all the only way you, uh, you can do it. As we saw in the previous screencast, uh, you have for groups here a setting that says that this uh, content type is a group type and once you select that, uh, you get this field called group uh, that uh, is used for determining whether a, a piece of content is a group or not, uh, uh, meaning that it can contain well, acts as a container for other stuff on your site, uh, nodes or other entities. If we, however, head over to, say, uh, user accounts, uh, configuration user accounts here, uh, and would like, for, um, well, uh, let's back up, uh, back down a step. Uh, since organic groupness, this groupness is a field, you would expect that you can add it to other entities as well, and you can, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's one of the really cool ways uh, that organic groups for Drupal 7 works. It's uh, generalized and, and uh, has become much more flexible than Drupal 6, which is uh, just awesome uh, from a site building perspective. Um, and you would expect that you add account settings, for example, can find this group field thing. Uh, the only thing you can find here is a group audience, which is not the th same thing as, as this uh, boolean field with uh, used as a group. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can use... well, I don't think I can use the boolean here and add a new group like this. Uh, the way to do it, though, is this. Uh, configuration, uh, organic groups, and here uh, you uh, go into organic group field settings. And you'll get an overview of all the organic group fields or organic group related fields you have on your site. It says that on the uh, user entity you have the groups audience field, which means well, uh, it's used for uh, well knowing what groups you are a member of. Same thing goes for group audience on the article node entity. Uh, determining what groups the uh, an article is member of. And on the uh, group content type, we have a group field determining whether the content is a group or not. We can add new uh, fields. If I want to add to users here, I can add a group field. Let's, I'm going to come back to the other options here. Uh, a group field to it. Click Add. And there it should be. If I now go back here and reload the uh, user account setting page, we see that we have group here, uh, a, a boolean field determining whether user account is uh, an organic group or not. So let's have a look at my own account, the root account here. Edit. And I should have group. Yeah, I can turn my user account into a group. When I save and hit view, well, I already have a group tab where I can manage uh, uh, members and stuff. Cool. Same thing you can do with the group audience field here. Uh, you can say that, for example, tags uh, are group, uh, group content for you know, organic groups. So let's try that actually. Bundle. Here you have all the entities and entity bundles on your Drupal site. Uh, pretty cool. You can see here that uh, organic group membership and organic group membership type are uh, entities. We'll come back to that in a future screencast. I'm going to add here two tags, uh, group audience uh, field here, which means if I go into taxonomy, tags, add term, let's add a term alpha, 
uh, we have a new field here called group audience and my groups here are my special group which is a, a node or root let's add it to root and save and that's it so I should now have a tag that kind of belongs to my uh, my user account group it's it's pretty weird using uh, organic groups like this and probably 99% of the case or 90% of the cases you you only need uh, nodes for it uh, and content but sometimes you would like to have it in another way uh, for example for uh, uh, taxonomy terms you can use hierarchical lists and tree structures uh, to manage uh, to manage your groups which can be pretty cool um, well, yeah. Let's see if I go to alpha. There's a, yeah, okay. Group audience root. If I come here, then I view this entity that is the container uh, for for some stuff. This container is in in itself uh, uh, a group content and what belongs to groups. So it's kind of special. Uh, but it works, it, and it's cool, and it opens up a whole lot of possibilities using organic groups. And uh, I guess that's it. I should probably mention, if you try to make, uh, well, I could mention that if you try to make taxonomy terms into groups, uh, you won't really see this group tab because it's uh, it's found at a, a kind of wrong address. There, and I'll put a link to that in the show notes, I guess, uh, if you want to try that out. Yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, group ness and group content ness is managed by fields, and you can manage that by uh, manipulating this. Where am I? The field settings in organic groups. Uh, cool stuff. Uh, there's a third field type here I haven't mentioned the group roles and permissions. I would actually think that this is only useful when you use the organic group access module. Uh, or permissions module uh, and we'll come back to that in a later screencast yeah uh, as you can see here you can also uh, you can uh, delete fields from this uh, uh, organic groups overview thingy uh, instead of deleting them at the uh, field pages for the uh, uh, respective entity types or bundles yeah Cool. Um, see you in the next screencast. In the upcoming screencast, I'm going to show you how to use organic groups and views together in order to create lists of, say, content or taxonomy terms or whatever within that uh, within a particular uh, organic group. See you there. Bye.